What's up again? It's Eric from LED Grow Lights Depot, this time with a review of the Chill Tech Logic 660 LED Grow Light. Show some love and hit the like button below. Also, hit the subscribe button if you like these LED Grow Light reviews and would like to see more of them. Lastly, smash the notification bell to be notified every time a video is uploaded to this channel. The Logic 660 is shipped in a plain brown box. And I'm just gonna take the few things out here. First thing I'm gonna take out is this uh, description of the fixture. Um, there's a few specs on here, just general information that you might need to know about it. In this first box, we have a couple cables. We have a uh, extension cable. And it looks like there's some stickers on the bottom of that box. Also some uh, ratchet straps and some hardware. So I'm just gonna take these out, give you a closer look. And here's the hangers, and also some extra hardware. Chill Tech sticker, and a Grow Mouse sticker. There's a couple more stickers there at the bottom of the box. Lastly, I'm going to show you the driver. Here's the HLG 600H driver. the DC side and the AC side and now I'm going to take out the fixture so I'm just going to give you a closer look at this before I hang it up the fixture is quite large however it's pretty light And there's the back. You see the five heat sinks. Okay, and let's take a closer look. The Logic 660 by Chilled Tech is quite an impressive LED grow light. It was born out of Chilled Tech's DIY ethic, yet it's not a DIY fixture. The fixture was designed from the ground up using high quality components. It's unlike other LED grow lights on the market in that this fixture kind of looks like a drone or a spaceship. The unique shape can be attributed to the pinned aluminum heat sinks and Logic version 3 LED boards, which jet out via adjustable aluminum arms from the center of the fixture. There's also one Logic V3 board and heat sink in the middle of the fixture. By spreading out the boards like this, you can expect really good even coverage. The aluminum arms can even telescope to assist in covering a larger area. The unit measures 28 inches by 28 inches and it weighs only 12.4 pounds. The fixture is lightweight because the driver does not sit on the back of the fixture like on most other LED grow lights. It is remote mounted to assist in reducing the heat load inside the grow tent or grow room. The cable from the fixture to the driver measures about 7 feet, but you can purchase an additional 7 foot extension for this fixture if you need more length. This is the first remote mounted driver LED grow light that I reviewed and I think it's quite a nice option to have. However, I'll discuss some of the cons of the remote mounted driver later in this video. Also unique to this fixture is that it's hung via three attachment points from the center of the fixture. Most lights are hung via two or four points. This is not so important, but I thought it was worth mentioning anyways. The Logic 660 can be used in grow tents, grow rooms, or any space where you need to replace a 1000 watt HPS, except that the fixture will draw about 34% less electricity and exude 34% less heat even less heat with a driver mounted outside of the grow area. Expect about 2,250 BTUs of heat from this fixture, assuming that the driver is mounted in the grow space. The dimmer for this fixture is found on the Meanwell HLG 600H48A driver and allows you to adjust the intensity. Dimming is helpful when growing seedlings, clones, and during the vegetative phase when plants do not need as much light. The Logic 660 can accept 100 volt to 277 volt power, at 120 volt, the fixture pulls 660 watts from the wall and 5.77 amps at full intensity. Expect about 2.89 amps at 240 volt at full intensity. Although Chilled claims the driver is dimmable to only 230 watts, I found that the driver I received dimmed to off. I'm not sure if all drivers are like this though. There's a three year full manufacturer's warranty on this unit. At this time, the Logic 660 is not UL or ETL certified for commercial grows, but according to Chill, they're working on this certification. 
The Logix 660 is manufactured in the USA. Chill Tech is headquartered in Greater Seattle, Washington. This fixture is full spectrum for seed to harvest growth. You only need to adjust the intensity down for seed through veg. Full intensity is recommended for flowering. There is not any spectrum control on the Logix 660. The spectrum uses a mix of Samsung LM301B, 3000K, and 5000K white diodes and 660 nanometer Osram deep red diodes. The 660 nanometer bump is not as large as some other fixtures have, although there are some in there which helps increase the fixture's efficiency, but more importantly helps with photosynthesis and flowering. The diodes will last around 50,000 hours or more. Expect about 1,585 micromoles of light with an efficacy of 2.4 micromoles per joule from the Logix 660 at full power. This intensity is definitely enough for a 4x4 area or a slightly less intense 5x5 area. This fixture will cover a strong 4x4 area for flowering at 24 inches from the canopy and with extending the arms will cover up to a 5x5 area at 36 inches from the canopy. Expect around a 6x6 area for veg. Chilled Tech took par readings of the Logix 660 in a 4x4 closed space at 26 inches with arms not extended. You can see those readings here. Note the high par readings throughout the space, even in the corners which are hitting 775 ppfd. These are quite high and pretty uniform readings. Okay, let's view my par readings. As I like to note, you'll see higher par readings in a tent or with an array of fixtures in an open area versus a single light in an open area. Let's get to it. This first reading is going to be at 36 inches above the bottom of the tent at full intensity. We're hitting exactly 800 ppfd. Moving this to the back, notice how that PPFD stays pretty high as I'm moving it back. Only drop down to 685, then into the corner, looks like right around 640, 645, and then to this other side, about 660. So really good uniformity all the way from around 800 to uh, 650 or so and again this is at 36 inches now I'm going to move it around a little bit you can see how that uniformity stays pretty true throughout the entire footprint and the next and final reading is going to be at 24 inches hitting right around 1075 ppfd gonna have a little less uniformity here but higher PPFD in the center and on the edges, right around 825, moving to the corner. Looks like it's around 725. To the side here, about 830. Excuse me, right around uh, 800. Moving back to the center, and also just going to move it around a little bit. So I'd recommend hanging this fixture right around 24 inches. You can go a little bit higher, which is going to give you better uniformity. So 24, 26 inches would be my suggested hanging height for this fixture. Overall, really good intensity for flowering, and obviously for veg, since you're going to need less intensity. So what's my opinion of this fixture? Overall, it's an amazing fixture. It looks very sleek, puts out an outstanding amount of light over a 4x4 area, and uses high quality parts from Samsung, Osram, and Meanwell. The remote mounted driver is a nice touch and will help you keep the heat down in your space while still allowing you high light intensity. The telescoping design is also pretty novel and comes in handy for growers wanting to cover a larger area. What are the downsides of this fixture? The remote mounted driver makes this light not so much of a plug and play fixture. You'll need to find a place to mount the driver. This can create a little more work than some people even want to deal with, but in my opinion, if you want to reduce the heat load in your grow space, it's well worth it. Also, the efficacy is pretty good, coming in at 2.4 micromoles per joule at full intensity, but coming from Chilled, I expected the efficacy to be a little bit higher. They are using efficient diodes and an efficient driver, but the efficiency loss might be coming from one, fewer red diodes, and two, the diodes are being driven harder than some other passively cooled fixtures on the market. There's about 130 watts being pushed through each board. Lastly, it'd be nice to see a little more 660 nanometer red in this fixture. 
This will help with the efficacy and also help drive yields. But don't get me wrong, I'm sure this fixture performs well in flower. I'm just getting a little picky here. The Logic 660 costs $999 with free shipping in the lower 48 states with no additional tax. International shipping is available via quote. So what do you think about the Logic 660? Let me know in the comments below. Please smash the like button if you enjoyed this video. This helps the YouTube algorithm display these videos to people like you. And subscribe for more videos like this reviewing the top LED grow lights on the market. And check out LEDGrowLightsDepot.com for the latest and most trusted LED grow lights. Link below. And follow us on Instagram too at LEDGrowLightsDepot for giveaways and other great content. Link also below. See you guys later.